Hey guys, Edog Players here bringing you guys another video. Today we are hopping into part 11 of Tap Tens 2. Thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys have been leaving so many helpful tips. It really has helped me grow and kind of learn more about this game. And I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. But let's get right into today's episode. So stages advanced. Like I said, when I start the recording, it like refreshes. So I did advance 524 stages. We are in 256.91 AM gold. Not bad. We're not going to watch the video to uh, double it, but we are going to go ahead and claim it. So right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and claim our tournaments. I honestly totally forgot that it was ending soon. There was like five hours left and I was like, yeah, okay. I could probably get a few more levels, but I totally forgot about it. So we got uh, rank 63, which isn't horrible. I did take your guys' suggestion. I prestige, I think three times total. So definitely prestiged a decent amount there. Um, I didn't know actually, so... When you prestige it takes so let's say you prestige at rank uh or i guess stage 600 when you prestige once you get to you know 559 it still says 600 i thought it would completely reset you but it doesn't it keeps your highest stage so then once you prestige and you you know you prestige at stage 600 next time you get 650 and you prestige again your highest is still going to be 650. that's something i didn't know but that's definitely cool i thought it would reset you all the way back down to zero and you had to climb back up that's not the case so we got rank 63, which is, I, I think, our best rank so far. This is our second tournament, though, so we haven't done too many. We're getting 75 diamonds at 15 tournament points, two weapon upgrades, and two fortunate weapon upgrades? I honestly don't know what those are for. Um, okay, so it looks like we just got a bunch of weapons. This is great. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so they didn't appear in here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and sell some of these items there, but it didn't give us i don't know what it means by weapons then claim our gems here but it said we got a bunch of weapon upgrades so i don't really know what that means but we're gonna continue and buy a bunch of these here oh my goodness i didn't get far at all when i prestiged and we're gonna throw on a spell hero damage one uh where is it this one right here spell hero damage is already activated so what we're gonna do today actually is we're gonna go through these and delete the ones um, because we'll have a lot of duplicates. So here we have times 20 tap damage right there We have times three tap damage. We're obviously never gonna use this You know one gem isn't a lot, but it starts to add up and it just makes it so much easier When we're trying to find some stuff right times six tap damage. We don't need critical damage I don't think we're probably gonna have any more um, But all hero damage we have a four so we don't oh, that's all damage. I guess we can keep that one Times three tap damage. We don't need uh, Times two hero damage that's equipped. Okay. What am I doing? I don't know why I have that one equipped. It'd sell the tap damage. Ta sell the tap damage. There we go. So now it looks a lot cleaner. We can see all the different types of, you know, boosts and benefits we can get from each one. But we've kind of eliminated the ones we're never, ever going to use. Why would we use two times tap damage when we have one that's four? And I, like you saw, I was using one by accident. So that's really nice that we've kind of cleaned everything up. So we got a high melee, a high spell, um, but sword attack damage. Um... I don't think I'm ever really going to be using those, but I guess we're going to have to keep it. So spell hero damage, we can go ahead and sell. Melee hero damage, we can go ahead and sell. Melee hero damage. Ranged, I think this is our... Oh, no, because we have a ranged one right there. Sell. Sell. Quite a few ranged, but not very good ones. As you can see, our best one is times nine uh, ranged hero damage, which isn't amazing. Uh, sword attack damage, I think we have a better sword attack damage, so we can go ahead and sell that one. Spell hero damage, we have a better one. Range hero damage, better one, better one, better one, and better one. There we go. So we have four of them. Um, each, so melee, uh, magic, or whatever it's called, spell, and then ranged. And then we also have one sword attack damage. I don't really know what that's going to increase, but we might as well keep it. Um, here, so we can go ahead and sell something like this, because we have a better one. All gold, okay. Oh, yeah, we have a better one of that. Boss gold times three. We have 3.6. So I think the higher ones are going to stay at the top, typically. Um, all gold. There we go. So we got rid of all of those as well. These. Oh, my goodness. We have so many to go through, guys. This is very, very time consuming. Uh, but we'll go and upgrade. Hopefully, we can complete this battle there. There we go. Okay. Um, so we got helmet primary boost, which is all we've really been using. It's kind of our best one. Really helps out our hero DPS. So our sword primary boost, so we're not going to need any more helmet primary boost down here. So I'll just go through, kind of delete these because I'm assuming there's quite a few of these helmet primary boosts there. Splash primary boost, I mean, that is so minuscule. This is times 1.002. I think we're never, ever going to use that. Sword primary boost, that one's smaller. Sword primary boost, that one's smaller. There we go. 
so we have two helmet primary boost and sword primary boost probably only gonna use that the helmet primary boost um okay so these are a little bit so clan ship damage we have a better one but we're using one that's worse we have a better one better one better one heavenly strike damage we have a better one uh pet damage we don't have so that's our best pet damage but we can sell the rest of those there we go so i'm sorry that took a long time to do though something we kind of needed to clean up and kind of get rid of so now it's going to be easier to see when we get a really good uh equipment this is perfect we'll claim um don't know those just dropped okay so we have a new one of these times three all gold so now we can go ahead and equip the better one and sell the worst one there we go helmet primary boost a better one and sell the worst one this is perfect so now we've kind of got everything organized we've got everything set up this is perfect day five reward is a perk not what what we got a doom okay i think the perks are down here okay so doom actually increases damage over time uh for 12 hours damage is increased against each each titan second for up to 100 times damage over 30 seconds that's pretty crazy i think we actually should start using some of these boosts when we're in a tournament i'm gonna save them for now but when we get into a tournament tournament i think they'd be super super helpful i'm gonna go ahead and increase our all hero damage and hand of midas and we're gonna go ahead and one of you guys left a comment and it really really did help upgrade all of the heroes because there is boost down here so right here um, unlock skill times 1.1 critical damage that is for every hero so some of these boosts are going to increase our clanship damage anything like that you know there uh, these boosts down here these uh upgrades are going to be super super helpful so we're going to do as many of these on each one as we possibly can just to unlock all these boosts for every single hero which is perfect so if one increases you know the damage per second it, all of them are going to increase the damage per second this is times 1.2 all damage that helps out for everything so we're doing 554 an 555 okay we didn't get any perks there 671 there we go <laughs> 982 these are heroes that are doing absolutely nothing for us in damage wise but their perks are their um these upgrades are absolutely incredible they're super super helpful so if we go down here we can see so this is level 1554 uh, dps is 55.26 ak so doing basically nothing to help us out but as you can see it's got all of these that are super helpful helpful um excuse me like increasing the mana capacity in uh times in your chest and gold critical hit chance critical damage like all these are being applied to every single hero so it's super helpful across the board we have two pets here we're gonna go ahead and claim um we'll go take a look at those guys in a minute we're going to continue to upgrade our best one there uh we should have our helmet spell hero damage perfect it's what we wanted on um 50 gems for reach 50,000 hero levels that is absolutely amazing so we have completely completely uh finished that achievement that's perfect that's our very first one that we've like completely wiped out there's no more stages we got five stars um so this is this is perfect completed that one uh, let's take a look at the clan here let's see so i still think we're missing a few we're so close to getting these uh papers e dog plays the best youtuber I've ever seen thank you so much guys i really do appreciate it um but if we were to go ahead to start another clan raid we need 250 of them we're at 200 oh 294 so we're gonna go ahead and start a raid here there we go so now everyone can come and pitch in I'm trying to do these as quick you know as much as we possibly can so raid begins in 24 hours we're gonna be able to do that um, and I definitely want to take a look at my raid cards because we have unlocked a few since last raid. Um, so actually I did, so you have three battles. I did every single battle with a different deck. And the one that actually did the most damage was this guy here. Um, so we're going to get rid of these two, but we want to make a deck with obviously our best one. If we click info, I, okay, let's start at the very beginning. So this info, uh, this one's going to increase raid damage per burst, uh, torso damage. It's not really telling me like i feel like just reading these aren't really going to give us you know a definite okay what is our best one um so i think we're honestly just gonna have to try them out but if you guys know because this video will be up before the next raid starts so if you guys have any suggestions on you know what deck what cards do i have that is pretty good let me know down below in the comments but this is the dust you guys were saying that i could actually go ahead and buy some more cards we have 320 dust so we're definitely gonna have to go ahead and buy some cards um, even leave a comment down below letting me know which one I should look out for specifically if you guys have a really good one that you have um, I'd be down to try it honestly I don't know much about these raids like I said before so 
any of your guys' comments are super, super helpful. Just letting me know how to even do it. Because like I said, when I used to play this game, there was no such thing as raid cards. You had one raid battle. like So you could start a raid. I believe it was a time period. There was no, no such thing as those like notes or whatever, those uh, tickets to start raids. There was no such thing. You just started a raid every once in a while. You had no raid cards. You go in there and you tap as quick as possible. What have you guys said? I'm supposed to be drawing circles or something? Like everything has changed. Honestly, there's been so many updates over the past, you know, few years. I haven't made a Tap Titans 2, you know, series in such a long time uh, that so much has changed. It's ridiculous. So, um, like I said, every one of your guys' comments really, really does help. There we go. Times 1.1 spell hero damage. We're now doing 24.28 AO hero DPS. That's really, really good. Honestly, I'm really happy with that. Now, 87. Um, so just going to unlock all these skills that we possibly can. Evolve. So gain a huge increase in power. I mean, still doing less than one. Uh, but hopefully, uh, you know, we got some other benefit, uh, you know, bonus from that. But if we take a look here. So at 1560, we might. Okay, so we just unlocked a new boost or what happened there? Um, oh, we increased her hero DPS. Now, once we get it to uh, 1,640, it's going to be a nine times hero DPS. So if we take a look up here, we can look at our best one. So once we get it one more level, we're going to times our hero DPS by three. So this is going to be a huge upgrade. It's going to be super, super helpful as soon as we can afford one more. So now we're doing 5.1 AO, 15. So timesing it by three. This is perfect. Um, but guys, I'm going to have to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys have enjoyed another Tap Titans 2 video, be sure to go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.